What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Air Holler with me, MUHerd37. Uh, I'm going to do a few things in this video. First, so I got kind of screwed up. Uh, the Probably about a week, week or two ago, after I finished an episode, uh, after I stopped recording, I uh, went over to the flight crew and checked out. And uh, th there was a lot of great pilots, so uh, I ended up uh, getting like four or five new pilots and uh, so yesterday after uh, the flight yesterday uh, actually had a I believe it was uh, Leo or somebody was taking a flight up here and it was going to take him two, two jobs or two flights to finish the job and then another guy was going over to get the plane and everything well Leo our good pilot you can see him right here. He finishes the one. And instead of going back, this other guy, Alejandro, I think is his name, went over and actually took the plane at Denver after the first job and then took it and flew it. So Leo never got the job done. And I fixed, looked at it today, and we were like 12 hours late. When, it ended up being a little over 13 hours late when we actually finished the job. And you can see right here, it, we went down uh, 1%. I mean, we're doing, it's only our second ding, you know, but it it was really weird because you would think he would finish the job and then the guy would take the plane, but instead the guy went to Denver and was like, yeah, just took the plane. I guess Leo was like, hey, I got to get back. You know, I don't know what the hell happened. But uh, anyway, so that was the first thing. We got dinged 1%. Uh, so I got a bunch of jobs going on. Uh, it's going to take a while. Everybody was scattered, and uh, I like to keep a, a list on Notepad uh, to keep certain people with certain planes and everything, and they were all jumbled because I've been buying a few planes and everything, so they're all jumbled. They were everywhere, uh, and they're having to fly to get to their uh, to their whatever plane they're going to fly and all that. And another thing I want to do... If you see, like, I'm out here, and for some reason, also, like, the jobs are crappy right now. I don't know what, there's not a whole lot of, I mean, it looks like it, you can see them now, but look how many crappy jobs there are that I cannot fly with my 737. They're just puny jobs that don't pay anything, and they're everywhere over here. Like, I can't, even at Midland, there's a bunch of crappy jobs. Uh, and so that's one thing, I went, I went into options or the job generation and where is it uh base to base job generation I put it on more because when I went, when I had those smaller planes it was one thing to you know fly a little little over to pick up another job and stuff like that in the video it didn't take too long but with these big planes you know doing that it's going to take up a bunch of time even though I'm uh speeding up to 8x it seems like it's going to make a really long video so I, what I would like to do is go to like just keep going bases to bases, you know, and stuff like that. It beats so much quicker, so that's why I did that. Uh, also, we need more bases, and that's what we're about to do before we fly. If, if, as you can see, I mean, this isn't too bad. Huntington, Wilmington, Daytona Beach, Midland, Denver. But as you can see, there's nothing here. There's nothing in the Northeast. I've not been to the Northeast. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. So I want to buy... A few bases right now. Now that's not going to be the only bases. Like uh, later on, we'll buy even more. But this this is going to be a good start, and hopefully, I'll be able to fly to bases a lot more. Or at least I'll have a base close by. You know, because there's going to be jobs where you don't go to a base. You know, that you just got to take because it pays so much. But this is what we're going to do. First, let's buy Seattle. Now there's also Boeing Field, which is in Seattle, and I tried that first, and it didn't produce a whole lot of jobs. So I kicked it out and tried Seattle, and Seattle picks a lot more jobs. As you can see, it's expensive: five forty-five, eighty-eight thousand a month. But we got money, and it'll generate jobs. And this takes it's starting to take a lot more longer as we have more bases and all the jobs all over the screen 
And those loading and everything takes a heck of a lot longer. But that's all right. Let's see if we can get over to the jobs board now. Come on, thing. And we'll go up to Seattle. As you can see, I mean, that's a ton of jobs. Seattle always puts out a ton of jobs. So next, let's go, I believe San Francisco will be next. Yes, we'll do San Fran now. Let's open up a new base. KSFO. Another expensive one, 825 to start, 123 a month. But, like I say, that's all right. Our, uh, our monthly overhead is going to be crazy. But, you know, like getting an MD-11 will be huge for the business. Because, I mean, you can make a couple million at a job when it first starts out and then make a million or at least close to it thereon. So, uh, the money thing I'm not really too worried about. Let's see, San Fran. There you go. San Fran usually produces a pretty good amount of jobs. Okay, next we're going to go to Albuquerque. I had a base there before. Uh, it, Phoenix is kind of close by, but I think Phoenix would have be more dense. Uh, so it, I prefer Albuquerque just because the scenery. You know, it's easier probably on the frames per second. Although, I mean, <laughs> Seattle and San Francisco aren't really easy, so... My reasoning isn't as good as it used to be because I, I used to stay away from places like that. But then, I, you know, it's like eventually you just got to go there because that's where the big jobs are and the big, you know, airfields and everything. So Albuquerque, not too bad, two ninety five and thirty one a month. Let's open that up. And also we're gonna be in Vegas, and that's really bad on the frames per second, man. Because all the lights, I mean, you can see the strip and everything from the airport, so it's pretty bad. But I mean, it's only when you're down on the runway, taxiing and stuff. Other than that, it's not too bad. I mean, it's definitely doable. As you can see, there we are in Albuquerque, so probably should have one in Phoenix or something. Although, let's do Vegas real quick, and then you'll see it'll fill it in. Let's open up a new base. I don't know the uh, code for McCarran. Or is it McCarran, Atlanta? I can't even remember. Uh, let's go to Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Nevada. Where is it? Is it McCarran? Yeah, it is McCarran. Look at that. 1065000 to open it up. Jeez. Unreal. And look at the landing fees. Two grand? Holy hell. What's this one? Oh, that's an Air Force base. Yeah, we can't really. I mean, we can, but I don't want to do that. Look at that. The landing fees, $2,200. That's insane. 199 gates. Oh my god. I didn't realize it was that big a uh, airport. Jeez. Oh well. I guess. That's insane. Over two grand to land there. <laughs> Remind me not to take a small job there, like a baron or something. Jeez, could end up costing you money. Although I, that landing fee might have been for large planes, because it goes, you know, small, medium, and large. I think planes, and they all charge different. But geez, a whiz. Okay, so Las Vegas filled it in pretty nice. And I don't know, where is Phoenix? Isn't Phoenix like over here? So I think it would be pointless to have Phoenix. But you can see we're real bare here. Uh, I do want to do like Boise, which I think is right in here. We might do that this episode. Uh, we got Albuquerque. Let's do New Orleans. KMSY, it's over in here, wherever. Get that going. Spending that money, boy. Spending that money. 
Oh well. It isn't too bad. Two hundred fifteen thousand twenty one six per month. Let's do it. Got one or two more to go. We're gonna do Atlanta next. Atlanta always produces a ton of jobs. Atlanta, I think, is the busiest airport in the country. Maybe or busiest airport in the world. I think it beats out O'Hare in London. I've been to Atlanta a time or two myself. All right, United States. There's New Orleans, by the way. If you didn't see that, come up. K A T L. Wow, 1.3, 208, 248 gates. It's a big airport, boy. It's a nice airport, though. You see, I try not to get too close to the airports, at least for now. But I'm really thinking, what we, what can we do with Huntington? I mean, I guess Cahuff is the one. Because you can think Louisville and Cincinnati, but they're really close. Cahuff, and when you do Cahuff, it makes the other ones pointless, because... That is real close. And I do like K Huff, by the way. Terre Haute. And I've almost forgot we need to open one there. It's got a runway over ten thousand feet, so that's really nice. I thought about Charleston, but Charleston isn't much bigger than uh Huntington. So let's go ahead and do K Huff. I hope we have enough money to do all this. I guess it's not really costing too much. 160000 20000 a month for KF. Uh, let's see. You see, 9,000 foot runway. It's pretty nice. You can land anything there. It's just not going to matter. Okay, looking at my list. I do have Boise down, so we'll probably do that. I also have Kansas City and Wichita. I don't know if I'm going to do Kansas City. Because... Uh, I did Kansas City in my last game. I think I'm going to do Wichita. The reason is, this may not be that good a reason, but in Wichita, there's a Boeing factory there. There's a Beechcraft factory there. And I believe, a, is it Cessna? Who, who owns Cessna? I can't remember. There's like several airplane manufacturers that actually have plants in Wichita. So that kind of seems like a good place to be, really, you know? Not really the best reason, but... By the way, I'm in Wichita, so that could actually make this uh, episode a lot better, or quicker. Uh, had I opened it up, I would have slept most all today, because I was so tired. Had I woken up a lot earlier, I would have already made a video, because we had a job from Kansas City, but whatever. That's supposed to be KMCI. Wait, I just about screwed myself. K I C. Because I think Kansas City and Wichita might be too close. I'll have to try and look at them on a map sometime to see. Because I don't want them to get too close together. Or else it's kind of pointless, you know? But we are growing. <laughs> see, you just get your little bear over here. Wichita's over here, but still, even with Wichita, when it pops up, I'm already down to 1.25. See how bare we are in this area, in this area, this area. I, I looked at uh, one at uh, Des Moines. I looked Des Moines and uh, a couple in Wisconsin. We need something over here too. I thought about Buffalo, maybe Providence. I got family in Providence is why. But look how you know, look how bare it is. Salt Lake, would that be too close to Denver? I don't know. Alright, but we got one more to do. I'll go ahead and do it. It's Boise. I landed there once before the seven forty seven and it was pretty good. Nice big run. Oh my goodness, five hundred and forty grand? I wasn't expecting that. By the way, we uh paid Wilmington today. What was it, Huntington? I think it was, it was Wilmington. Paid that earlier today. We need some money now. We just had, had four million at the start of the episode. What's going on? Didn't realize it was going to cost that much. 
that's all right. That's the last one that we we're going to do today anyway. I want to fly. See, that filled in fairly well. But we're just, I don't know, we're, we're Salt Lake, uh, Bismarck, uh, Butte, Montana. We need places like that. Sioux Falls, South Dakota, something. All right, anyway. I'm trying to find my, dude, look at this screen. is just crazy. All these jobs. Let's see how much some of these pay. Yeah. See, that you got to get guys on these jobs now. Wichita, oof. To Houston? You know who's going to do that? It's going to be me. Not as well. I got the thing here. Yeah, we got 66,000 capacity. So I can do that with ease. Heck yeah. So I'm going to cut the episode real quick. Just because I'm going to shut this down and save the game. And I'll be right back. Alright everybody, we're back. I just wanted to save the game, just since we did all this. Sometimes, you know, I don't want it to crash and then I'm going to have lost everything. So this is good. We're already here. It's a short one, probably only 490 miles. There's even something coming back. Let's just check that out real quick. See if there'll be anything on the next video or something. Houston to Wichita. Oh man, you know it. So I, I can on the next episode I'll fly right back, make over a million bucks just like that. That's why we need these big bases, man. These big planes. You know it. So let me write this stuff. I gotta write this information down. K I C T. Uh, let's see here. Let's take off runway 19. Because that's almost dead south. So it'll be quickest, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have to really text anyway. Kind of surprised. This, is this not, this must not be Houston's big airport. Only two, only one runway. That can't be Houston's big one, but it doesn't matter. KSGR. Let's run land on runway 17 because that's almost dead south. Actually, no. Look, we got to do 35 because it's got the ILS. Runway 35 is 110.7. Alright. Let's see the elevation if that's anything that I need to worry about. 81 feet now. It's basically sea level. Might as well be. Alright, so let's go ahead and accept this job. Come on. See all, all this stuff on the screen? It take so much longer now all right here we are Wichita to Houston let's get this big 737 going baby love this plane it's a fun fun plane all right, 490 miles load all our cargo extra fuel only 285 a gallon that's money, as in good. I don't even know how much to put in. I'm putting for like 2,000 nautical miles or something. There we go. 9,000 worth of fuel. Alright, guys. Everything is loaded. I'm going to meet you in the cockpit. Alright, everybody. Here in the uh, cockpit. Everything's getting real slow on the computer. Can you remember where the light switches are? There's the outside lights. I just gotta find the inside. 
believe there's a button. Yeah. This turns on the floodlights or whatever. So, uh, yeah, there's light switches over here as well. There we go. What this is. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's try and get this set up. Remember, I'm not really good. That data out of date. That's nice. I probably should update it. I do have updates. Rep Airport. Do I remember it? To K C I T? K I C T. K I C T. Don't know what gate we're at. That doesn't matter. K I C T. Ah, already had it. Runway uh, 19. Uh, that's not my problem here, not in there. Uh, KSCR is uh, Houston Airport. Oh, crap. KSGR. Some of these aren't in there anyway. You can still fly, of course. KSGR. There we go. Flight number. Just make it up. I keep going with 3737. Alright. on it. I forgot the freaking weight. I gotta start remembering to do that with these big planes because we need it. Need that uh, information. Plane in reserves. Go for 85 on the cost index. I wish I had that. Twenty-five thousand feet. We nah. have fragile cargo, so I was gonna. I don't know if I could list that or not. Here we go. It's none, but got. There is no 19 left and right. There's just 19. Isn't that right? It didn't say left or right. Uh, that's probably why. Yeah, it probably. I was gonna say air hauler didn't say anything. Let's see. So it'll be right. Right. And that that's a smaller one. 19, isn't it? Yeah, a 10,000 and a 7,000. We could probably do either one, but let's go 19 right. So 19 right. There's no SIDS, obviously. Arrival. Alright, so this one does have stars. That's a problem. Oh, crap. I already said we were going on 35. Let's see if there's multiple ones. Well, looks like there's just one. Speed runway 35. Uh... I don't know. Let's see what this one says. CLL, click that, move that up to get that discontinuity. Is this the first 
Legs one of three. Let's see. Let's try to be it. Actually, let me back that up. We're down to 200 mi nautical miles, knots, I should say. 7,500 feet. See if that'll accept it. Yeah, there we go. I'll have it slowed down to 175. That's be it. That's 7,000. Let's just be at 7,000 there. And we'll keep it 175, 7,000. This, this continuity thing. With that back to the next page. There we go. I should fix that. Uh, wow, look at that. How is it so far away? Might need to pick a different route. Forget how to turn this thing so you can actually look at the route that you've got planned in. Wish I remember how to do that. Alright, step by step. So, as I'm reading it, we come over here, over to here, over to Hollow. That looks fine to me. CLL, 7,500 feet. Come over here. That looks like perfect to me. Especially for not knowing what I'm doing. Not partially know what I'm doing. This will actually look better. Oops. Alright, so here we go. Come down here to CLL. What a blue BL. What a cow, whatever that is. We come over here. And we come up. I think that looks good. It's just odd that that's 41, you know, nautical miles. So I need to adjust this. Actually, I'll go a little bit quicker. This one, I guess. Sorry, this is taking a while. Seven thousand. change one thing. Might as well be a little higher. Uh, let's put it 225. That's 6,000. See where the runway is. So we got miles from that. Let's 
not what I meant. 200, 1800 feet. All right, we need to be s slower. So let's be at 150. At 1800 feet. be at 140 I'm not sure if you can, you can do that I'm not sure so I'll just leave that alone because we'll be probably doing our own speed and uh, manual landing although I kind of want to do a Automatic landing one of these times. A map eighty. back I don't even know nerd feet I don't know turn the nose to the right 90 degrees I don't know <laughs> never used this one before and uh, ground cockpit same voice as the 747 set to go up here. We've been cleared to push in. Start at your discretion. Right now, ready for push. Power in here. Clear. Doors closed. We are ready for push back. Please start three, please. Okay. Parking brake is on. Clear to push. Put our info in here while they're doing this. Brakes off. Here we go. I don't know our speed. I don't think it's going to matter either. Our light's not on. That's a problem. Well, not a problem, but obviously they should be on. It's kind of cool, the whole pushback thing. As long as they don't push us into a building. Yeah, we're probably in the grass. Yeah, we're in the grass. <laughs> oh well. Can't stop him either. Just gotta let it keep going. Somebody just made us some money needed after spent all that I'd say we went way too far <laughs> 100 feet hope we don't end up yeah we should be all right can't see the vehicle sometimes you can see a vehicle sometimes you can't anytime you want to stop buddy Looks like this Push is complete. Set park brake, please. Park brake on. All right, brakes are set and uh, pressure's normal. Okay, 
Chaser, Phil Morris on, pin is out, watch the pin on the right. All right, guys, thanks. You're cleared to disconnect. We will uh, be watching for the pin and the release from guidance on the right side of the airplane, and uh, we'll see you guys next time through. Roger that. Have a good one. Click the floodlights. Didn't seem to have any difference. Eh, whatever. All right. Start, uh... Make our way over to runway 19. We have to try and find it ourselves. We have to go way over to the right. We have to cross the runway, then uh, go over to the next taxiway and take a right. Keep forgetting to uh, add traffic, increase traffic on this thing. This is wrong. I think the runway is right beside us. We're supposed to go over to the right again. Shoot. Well, it's not that big of you. Yeah, 19 right. We weren't that, we're not like we're that far off. But. Don't mind us, we're just taxing on the runway. Wichita is not busy right now in the morning, so we're good. We're good. Let's put some flaps in. That's ten. Maybe you should have started our departure from back there. Oh well. It's not like we're being professionals or anything. Not gonna win any awards for reality, exactly. Not like we're horrible, though. Get this boat turned around. Alright, see if we can go with the... LNAV and RNAV, VNAV, which is it? I can't remember. Park brake on for a second. Neither of them want to work, apparently. Thought they would both light up. 
don't know why there's eight there. It's kind of annoying. I thought those things were, uh... So that one lights up. I wonder why those aren't working. Yeah, I don't want that. Not this one. Not sure why the L and B dive aren't working. Oh well, we'll take off anyway. Now they're lit up. Maybe they were lit up. It's just not selected. Positive rate here up. LNAV's working, RNAV isn't. Tracking the flaps. What is this eight doing here? I don't even know which one, what's the difference? No idea. Oh, what's, help, duh. Gotta do the auto throttles, idiot. I don't know why we can't get the VNAV. Hit the top one and we finally went back like I thought we would. Almost at 10,000. See if it stops at 250 or goes on like it's supposed to. Don't know why the BNAV won't work. Maybe it's because I don't have all the information or something. I don't know. Beautiful plane. Oh, I guess those automatically. Or I didn't have them all the way down, maybe. So 
So it did go to the what I've got set. All right, guys, I'm going to speed this up probably eight times. I'll be back in just a bit.
All right, slowing it down. 46 miles, we've got to be 10,000 feet. Since our nav isn't working, we got to do that. It's uh, 250 knots. See if we get down by then. It'd be great if the V nav worked. Usually there's that green thing that comes up. There it is. So we need to descend faster. That's about good. Let's see. Yeah, that's basically right on it. Alright, speed it up till we get there. Quite there, but obviously too fast as well. Now we got to get down to seven thousand. I'll get down to ten thousand first. Burn off some of this uh, speed. speed is coming down a little fast. We're supposed to be at the maximum is 250 at 10,000, but what you gonna do, you know?
speed it up a little bit. Alright, need to be up, down to 200 miles an hour. Or not, but, well, no. I don't say, even if I say miles an hour, you guys should know what I mean by now. It will be down to 1800 feet. See if that thing pops up. There it goes. Two hundred at eighteen hundred. Alright, we're looking good. After that, we'll be down to 150. And after that, it's the runway. Uh, 2500. I'll keep it sped up to a uh, little bit closer, probably right over to here. I'll just start uh, slowing us back down. Pro probably too high, but I think that was the... Wasn't that the star that said we need to be about that low? Alright, so we need to get to 150.
I'll just go to normal speed. I need to know what the heck I'm doing as well. Start extending the flaps, arm the spoilers. Let's mess with this uh, auto brake. I don't know, is it just anti-skid? Is that what we turn it to? Turn it to two. All right. How far are we? One to that, and then I guess five after that, we're about 6.2 away. Oh hell, I never entered the ILS. Crap, pause it. You know, damn it, why do I do stupid stuff like that? I thought there was a radio nav thing. I don't know what that is. I believe there's a place to put in the uh, ILS. Approach VREF not selected. Where can I put in the uh, ILS? I don't know. Arnev. Uh, that sucks. Nav data. No, nav options. Crap. There is a... What did I just see? So you can put in your speeds. That's probably why it... Uh, see flap speed? All this stuff? That's probably why... It, yeah. Anyway. The heck with the ILS. I'll just manually land it. See the runway ahead. It's one hundred and twenty nine feet. Here down.
Alright. All the autopilot stuff's off. Alright, we're at full flats. Stupid thing. Sink rate. Too fast. Pull up. Sink rate. One hundred. Sink rate. Fourteen. Thirteen. Not enough runway. Fourteen. Ten. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It actually said okay? I don't even know how we stopped. Man, I was going long. That said okay. I just had to punch her down to the runway. We're going way too fast. Sending way too fast. Yeah, this is a small airport. This is not Houston's airport. Especially not with just one runway. Wow, it said okay. You know, it would really suck because we have fragile cargo. So not only would we have damaged the plane, but we would have damaged the cargo and lost money and probably a uh, reputation. What? It said okay for so somehow. I just had to punch her down, man. I thought we were going to run out of runway. I'm going to go over to the further one, just to make sure our wings don't clip that building. Stuff right here, parking brake. Guess we could have gone a little further up, but well. Shut her down. I bought all those bases so we could fly from base to base. I just now thought about that. And what did we do on our first one? We don't fly to a base. But it paid so much. We had to. You know? This thing doesn't like to shut off, we gotta cut the fuel ourselves. Fuel goes off two, or one. That's probably why. Engine two shut down. Let's see if it does it. Nope. So I'll do it. Alright. Shut down. Unload our cargo. Get some money. Man, am I going to have to reinstall air hauler? Cause I'm, I'm worried to do that. Because what does that do to our company? How come nobody... I was, I'm sure I sent that to somebody. Somebody better get on that as well. Anyway... I may need to uninstall air hauler and install it the correct way. Like I said, I just copied the backup over yesterday. I believe that's causing some problems. We're up to 1.4. That's nice. What do we get on this? 0.3? Come on. This is fragile cargo. Made good money for it. Yeah, 656. Sweet. 
I don't even know. Where are we? Houston. And I believe there's a flight going right back from Houston. Hopefully there's a same airport. See how long this thing takes, man. Come on. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> Stupid thing. You just leave it off. Here I am. So that is the same one. KSGR? Heck yeah. Alright. That'll probably be the uh, next episode. Uh, that's it for this one. So... Hope you all enjoyed that. I'll catch you on the uh, next flight.